Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyhow, uh, the last video I posted was of the um, all those beautiful razors that I received as a very generous PIF or um, gift from Johnny Palma. One moment, I need a drink of water. But, uh, and I said that I was going to be using um, a certain razor out of that, lot, out of that box of razors. And it is this one, the Gillette Slim Adjustable. I made a mistake. I said this was a 62. This is actually a 64. It is a J2 is the date code, which would make it second quarter of 1964. I have it set on seven. Um, I can run my Fat Boy, which I bought from Johnny, um, wide open on nine with no problem. But uh, that was a couple of shaves in, and I don't want to run that slim adjustable on nine until I get a feel for it. The brush is going to be. I did want to use my Maggard's synthetic. Um, which I got from Dennis O'Drain when I was picking picking everything out for the shave, but I was in here and I started this video and I remembered, oops, uh, the Maggarts is uh, being balled by my brother along with my Gillette Aristocrat that I got from Johnny. So tonight we're going with the Razor Rock 24mm plus soft in the barber handle. The soap is going to be one that I should have honestly did um, a bit ago, but I just never got around to it. And even though it's in a Van Hagen mug, it is the fine Ellen Orange War, or whatever it's called. I just call it Orange War. Um, I've used it a couple of times. It's an absolutely beautiful soap. It has a beautiful scent. It makes a wonderful um, creamy lather. Um, absolutely great soap. Oh yeah, the blade I'm using is an Astra Green or Astra Superior Platinum. Um, it's on its second shave. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's wet and load the brush. If you're not familiar with synthetic brushes, the nice thing about them is you just have to wet them. I like to give them a little slight ring. Oh, let me grab my shape down. I should say a slight squeeze. But give them a slight squeeze and get that excess water out. Now, when I got this, and I want me shut this door, I don't want to wake up my son. His room is about three feet past the bathroom. But, uh, uh, my fine American blend fit right down inside my Old Spice mug really good. Um, but in this, in this, uh, Vanderhagen apothecary mug. I had to kind of take a cheese grater and take a little bit off of the sides um, going around it and then it dropped right in and I just kind of smushed the soap shreds that I you know, got off there. Oh wow that's just bubbling up out of the thing. So Oh, hey, oh yeah, <laughs> you did stuff like poached. it. Hmm. Oh wow, didn't expect that. Oh, 
That was a straight up lathergasm. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even realize it, it just like exploded up over the the edge of the mug. Wow. So let's go ahead and let's get this started. That didn't take long. So, just go ahead and put some water on top, jump it out, go for it. And now, if you think that. You gotta use a really stiff bristled brush for um, making a good good lather with some of these hard soaps and and fine is triple milled if you're not familiar with the soap it is triple milled that means in case you're not familiar with the process it's basically where the soap is squeezed down forcing out the excess liquid. Um, once a single meal, two or more times is triple meal. If I remember the explanation of it right, I figure triple meal is like three or more times. But anyways, but they say two or more times is triple meal. Um, and it will just last you for a long time, a triple milled soap will, uh, because you don't have all that excess water. So, put a little bit of heat in the blade. Here we go, with the grain. So, oh, that's nice. So, um, if you come up against, if you come, if you're into synthetics, or you get into synthetics, and you think that, oh, that's not, that's kind of really nice. But if you think that, you know, the hard, the uh, denser soap, the triple milled soap, stuff like that, is going to be an issue, well, those Blisson style knots are pretty soft. They don't, I mean, they don't have the backbone of, say, a boar or even a real super dense badger. Of course, I'm not an expert on badger. I only have two badger brushes, but don't think you gotta go out and get something like a boar brush to lather a triple milled soap because you just saw me whip up a heck of a lather in a very very short time with a synthetic oh yeah this is cutting really really nice That's really, really, that's really, really nice. Oh. There's another razor I got. Which. Is new to the den. So. I'll go ahead. And after the shave, before well, before the post shave, I'll go ahead and show you all that razor. Time for.
for the second pass. Yeah, guys. Um, this is men's, you know, November. Um, a lot of you are shaving for it for the no shave November thing. And, uh, or you're growing in beards or goatees or mustaches, whatever. Um, Ken, over on Ken Surfs, he's grown in a goatee. I know Chris Bailey, he's not, because he stays clean shaven every day. And the other YouTubers I like to watch, I'm not sure yet what they're doing. But, me, um, went ahead and uh, about a month and a half ago or so, I, uh, Why I put on that thick leather, I don't know, it just it feels right. Um, I was sitting on the couch with my girlfriend. No. And crack this, take this down to eight. Or not eight, six. Six. Anyways. I was sitting on the couch with my girlfriend, we was watching TV, I can't remember what it was, Cross the Grain. That was good. Anyways, I'm sitting on the couch, and uh, I'm watching TV. Now, I am a nail biter. I have been for years. And maybe it's a good thing I did. I might not have realized what was going on. Anyhow, my left side of my chest started itching. And it was one of those kind of itches where you just really got to Get down in there. Anyway, I'm gonna go straight across the grain. See how that does. And uh, so I'm sitting there, probably looking like a chimp or a big, big fuzzy gorilla. Because I mean, I'm a hairy dude. Um, you can see by up here <laughs> under my neck. Um, the hair is just poking up over the tank top. Um, I think maybe one day, if I would have had, you know, I think if I would have, you know, my witness start going bald, probably could have went ahead and started my hair here, went straight down the back, you know, down my back, my, and ass, you know, Underneath and up and stop here at a goatee, you know, stop here at a mustache, you know, um, but um, If that gave any of you all a uh, disturbing image in your head, I apologize um, Anyways I'll go after the scratch, you know, I'll go after the itch and start scratching I say, wait a minute, what's this? Well, um, if you think that breast cancer is something only women get, like only men can get prostate cancer, you're wrong, men can get it too. I'm not saying I got cancer. But I noticed the lump. And I kind of had that momentary thought like Peter Griffith on uh, Family Guy when he went to that 
sensibilities um, camp whatever it was to get in touch with his his feminine side when he would had got in trouble for sexual harassment or whatever it was at work um, where he came back and he felt this chest and he said oh god a lump a lump I had just a momentary thought of that it was like oh god a lump um, Hang on here. Anyways, so I uh, went to my doctor um, like a week and a half later. Went to my doctor because it was just small. And uh, just going to do a paint over. And uh, I told him, I said, <laughs> my mom, she's a breast cancer survivor. Grandma, she's a breast cancer. She was a breast cancer survivor. May she rest in peace. Um, but my grandmother had breast cancer and survived it. My mother had breast cancer. She's still alive and kicking. You know, she's survived it. And my doctor, he's a white smart man. So sent me out or an ultrasound and I received a letter the other day in the mail saying you need to speak to your doctor about getting it biopsied and possibly removed poss or possibly removed so I go to my doctor or I get on the phone and I call my doctor's office and <laughs> I said look I'm not supposed to see him until the 29th but let me crack this, go down to five. But I told them what was going on and they're like, oh, okay, and, and they responded very quickly. And I did have an appointment for the 20th. Oh yeah, it feels good against the grain. Going against the grain, by the way, guys. But uh, I told them, I said, you know, um, is there any way you can get me in before then? Because it needs to be, you know, I need to discuss this with my doctor. So, I'll go ahead and say, okay, come in on the 8th of November. Um, 2017. So, just in case if you see this, movie, uh, this uh, video in the future. So, I go in November 8th, 2017. And, uh... You know, uh, I talked to him, and he's like, oh, okay. So he steps outside, and, uh, I, uh, he comes back in, and he's like, all right, we're scheduling you for a biopsy right now. I'm like, all right, great. So, I'm going to get that taken care of, so... Monday, which is the 13th of November, I'm going to be going in and get a biopsy of the time. So, we'll see what that says. And I'll keep you all up to date on that. Wow, that does really, really nice. Before it gets rained. So, if you're Pushing 50, like I am, I'm 48. Um, my son was born, my boy was born when I was 44. So, oh, I just nicked myself. That was my fault. My hand kind of wiggled a little. Um, 
So yeah, if you're getting close to 50 or whatever, um, now and then, give yourself a breast exam, dude. Or dudes. Um, you know, because breast cancer, it just doesn't affect women. It can affect men too. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully, if whatever I got, if it's malignant, you know, um, it was caught. It will have been caught early. And, you know, proper steps can be taken. But, you know, that, that stuff ain't caught early. I mean, it'll kill you. And nobody wants that. You know, I mean, everybody's born and dies and moves on from this, from this world, um, eventually, but, you know, there's too many awesome razors and too many cool, great soaps, and, and I mean, I got my kid, and I got a good, good woman, and I, you know, of course, my, my kid and my girlfriend are the most important thing, and my, you know, the rest of my family, um, but, you know, I, I want to be able to shave longer, but anyways, so, yeah, um, yeah, I think that's good, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut away, I'm going to go ahead and rinse up, and, oh man, that could be a nice shave, nice shave, a couple little spots that I might touch up, but, uh, Yeah, I'll cut away and then I'll do the album, come back and do the album. Um, so yeah, see you in a minute. Anyways, um, so yeah, had a little spot right here I had to clean up, but that was it. I mean, so I'm going to hit the album. I mean, that got a little bit of a bite today. Um. Yeah, that American New Long Comb, that's, that's a beautiful shaving razor. Absolutely beautiful shaving razor. Um, so is that knack. I mean, I was just, red tips real good too. Um, but yeah, I was just really, really surprised with the, with the new Long Comb. And uh, I was really surprised with that knack on how efficient of a head shaver it is. Anyhow, um, the American neck that is. Anyhow, uh, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off. Uh, or I should say, I'm going to go ahead, cut away, rinse off, and I'll be back for the post. See you in a minute. That, my friends, was an outstanding shave. My face is... Got a little bit of a pimple right there, damn it. But my face is BBS. Um, oh, I gotta trim my nose hairs. One moment, guys. Sorry about that, guys. The hobgoblin was trying to exit his cave, so I had to blow my nose. Um, oh, wow. Some nose hair trimming. Um, don't look. <laughs> but, no. Um, underneath the nose, uh, that's slim is a bit easier to get under the nose than the fat boy. Um, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. Um, it's a great head shaver. Um, the fat boy is too. Don't get me wrong. The fat boy is a great head shaver. Ah, dang it. Missed a couple little spots. I'll clean those up in a bit. Um, but yeah, all in all, that was a wonderful, wonderful shave. Oh, speaking of shaving. One moment. For Halloween, my girlfriend and I went down, well, the 28th of last month, my girlfriend and I was invited to a very long time friend of hers, um, to his house for a, uh, Halloween party. So we went down, um, down to Chino, just probably maybe a 10 minute drive from West Coast Shaves or Shaving, but, uh. Yeah, we ended up going down there, and uh, it was on a day when they were closed, so I would have went there, 
for what I got. Um, but anyways, we came up with the idea for the costumes. I was going to be the blind ripper. Now, my right eye is prosthetic, so it can be removed. Well, I have a spare prosthesis. Because um, I didn't want her to have this one. Because I didn't want it to get lost. But what we did was we took my spare prosthesis and we put it in a baby food jar. And I was her killer. She was my victim. We made her look like she had been sliced up. Um, she carried the baby food jar around with like take it out and shake my eye at people. And I had like a trail of fake blood running down my cheek and, you know, had some, some, you know, marks on my face. Like it looked like she scratched me and, uh, my shirt looked like, you know, she, you know, I just, I, I, just, I just looked like a bloody mess. So did she. But anyways, my weapon was, um, well, she asked me before I showed it. She asked me, she said, how about a street razor? How much can you get one for? And I'm like, well, I can maybe get a gold dollar for 30. I could get one without an edge from straightrazors.com, I think it is. Uh, like a practice one, uh, you know, for like 20, between 20 and 30. And she's all, well, how long would it would take? And I told her, and she's, oh, we ain't got that much time. So I told her about Chevette's. And... We headed out, we decided, I told her, I was, Be Sally Beauty Supply, they should carry them. Well, we forgot to go by, we're out of town, we go to a Walmart, because on their site they said they had them, Target said they had Chevette's, but of course, we had no idea where a Target was, and the Walmart didn't have them in store. So, I'm like, go to a Sally Beauty Supply. So, we went to Sally's, and I got this. Well, first, it comes in a package like this. And that's this. Black scales, black tail, or tang, whatever that thing is called. But this is all metal. This part and this part's all plastic. It's pretty easy. You just slip this out and you put your half to E blade in there. And just slide it in. Now I have ended up already using it once just on my cheeks and I got a pretty good you know I, I like didn't nail myself but I mean you know um, I didn't do bad you know for that one pass uh, so you know I'm gonna sit there and and uh, go ahead and practice with it and hit a couple of Facebook like uh, Chevette World on, on Facebook um, hang on and start experimenting with it and then eventually be able to do a full shave with that on camera so yeah because I still don't know if I want a full, a full on straight but I know I definitely want to get into Chevette's some and, and I think Feather makes a disposable straight edge razor or you know with a straight edge that a straight razor that takes disposable blades um, for like 35 bucks, so I'm going to check into that too. Um, because I don't know if I want to get into the expense and the, and the, and the upkeep of a straight razor. Anyways, so let's move to the post. And I know that some people says, oh, they're relatively cheap, but I ain't got the money for a strop. You know, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to deal with the strop. I don't want to go with honing and all that, so it is what it is. Anyways, Dollar General Witch Hazel on the noggin. So, yeah. Um, oh, an update on that Apollo. Uh, my girlfriend told me that it looked like rivet holes in between the uh, holes where the... Um, blade pins and the threaded post center post that the handle screws to. Um, she said those look more like they're just like little hash marks, actually. She took a second look and she went, actually they look like little hash marks, like a little like they've been stamped in there. So I don't know. So like I said, if anybody has any information on Apollo slants, if they made a two both a two and a three piece, let me know because I'm interested in finding out. 
because that three piece gives a bitchin' shave. And if you know, if they make a two piece, I'm gonna look for one. Anyway, so that's the witch hazel. We'll go with. Nivea for sensitive skin. Baby mom. Told my girlfriend, asked my girlfriend to get the original. She couldn't find it, unfortunately. But the sensitive skin balm is good. I mean, it's one of my it's one of my must-have products in the den. Um, Aftershave, aftershave balm. It is one of my must-haves because uh, you know I still get irritation in some spots. Um, yeah, my dermatologist. I just start seeing. Tried telling me, she went, yeah, don't, don't, when you shave, only go with the grain, this, and I'm like, I use the safety razor, I have to do across the grain, and I do do against the grain, and she went, oh, okay, well, and I said, I always had really extremely sensitive skin, so she gave me this stuff, and it's actually been working, I can't remember what it's called, but if you notice, my nose doesn't look as bad, I've been putting it on my nose, it's been working, been putting it here, where I get bad irritation, no matter what razor I use, even my Gillette Tech, I'll break out. My Fat Handle Tech, I'll break out here. And I mean, <laughs> Gillette Tech's a mild frickin' razor, and I'll still break out in here. And I've been applying it here, and a little bit down on my neck, and it's been working wonders. Um, I'll go ahead and find out the name for it, and, and let you all know my next the next shave what it is. So if you have irritation and you go to a dermatologist, maybe you could ask them to let you let you you know to hook you up with some of that. It's got a bit of a burn, but it's good stuff. And the aftershave, speaking of burn, is Ice Blue Aquavella. I found that I like the Ice Blue Aquavella. I love the scent of it. I just I don't know why it is. Just this ice blue aqua velva. I don't know. It's just. It's got a bit of a burn. But, uh. I like it. I want to try the aqua velva aftershave balm. Five in one or whatever it is. I want to try that next. Anyways, so yeah, that's the shape, guys. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we used. The razor was the 1964 second quarter or J2. Gillette Slim Adjustable, ran it on 7.6.5. Um, the blade was a Astra SP or Astra Green on its second shape. The brush was the Razor Rock 24mm Plus Soft synthetic brush um, in the barber handle. The soap was... Mmm... Ellen Orange Wire, or just Orange Wire, I call it. Orange Wire, which was from Piffed Me by Dennis O'Drain. Oh, and the razor was Piffed Me by Johnny Palma. Oh, just one quick thing about Johnny. He went ahead, the fat boy that I got from him, he charged me 40 bucks for it with shipping. That was, you know, for, you know, he, 40 bucks straight out. He paid for shipping. Um, he could have asked more because when he got it, he sent it in 
to raise our Emporium and had tune-up on it to make sure that the blade alignment was good. Um, so he actually lost money on that sale. Um, he sold it to me for less than what it cost him to buy it and get it tuned up and shipped there and shipped back, shipped back. Um, the Slim Adjustable, he did the same, uh, ended up, you know, having it tuned up at Razor Emporium. So if you ever, ever happen to come across Johnny on any of the buy, sell, and trade things, um, he's a, he's a, he's a straight up dude. Um, once again, Johnny, thank you. But anyways, but, uh, that's enough about, about that. Um, but yeah, the, uh, post shave was warm water followed by cold. Dollar General Witch Hazel. Nivea for sensitive skin cooling bottle. And, uh. Ice Blue Aqua Velva. Anyways, guys, that's the shave. Thank you for joining me. Remember, this is Men's Health Month. Uh, guys, um, I want you all to go ahead and if you're pushing, if you're, you know, pushing 40, uh, go ahead and grow up yourself. It's, it's for your own, it's for your own health. Anyways, uh, y'all, take it easy. Have a good night. And I'll see all of you on the flip side of the plate. Bye-bye now.